All right, we're going to go ahead and get started, I think. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank you to Rain for the raid. Uh, we got some cool stuff going on today. Let me go ahead and I'll take us out of screen here and get into game. And then we can talk about it because uh, we just had kind of a fun thing where Rain actually streamed today. So if you guys have not followed her, definitely make sure you go do that because I don't know I don't, I don't know how often she'll stream. But if she does, you don't want to miss it because it was a lot of fun. We were uh, doing Pokemon things and uh, she was taking a Pokemon quiz and I was going feral in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but she did a great job, and uh, now we're going to hang out here for a bit. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you follow her too, so that if she does stream again in the near future, you can catch that. Um... But hey, yeah, thank oh, thank you for thank you for joining us. Um, thank you for joining us anyway, Echo. Uh, we're glad to have you here for a little bit. Uh, hey, no problem. Thank you again for modding as well and for a really great stream. You did a really good job. I, I was very impressed by just how many Pokemon you know. Like, I I know a reasonable number more than I thought. Um, it was a list of things to, or a list, it was trying to name as many Pokemon as you could, pretty much, uh, and Rain did an absolutely amazing job, and, and I was a little bit, like, I, I, I knew more than I thought I was going to, but my goodness, like, that was impressive. <laughs> um, no, you know a lot of them, you know a lot of them. Alright, I'm trying to remember where I left off here as well, so pardon me flying aimlessly around the build. I'm trying to remember what the heck I was doing. Um, I'm gonna try and refocus here. So I think, um, no, oh, there, there are a lot of Pokemon. I think there are like 800 in that quiz alone. Uh, so we probably want, well, hmm, how do we want to do this? Did I have the interior here sealed off? I did have some of it, but why is this like, what, what, what is this random little gap? What is this random little gap here? What, what is this? What is this? Why is this like this? I don't understand why there's a gap. We're gonna redo that because it's bothering me. Um, I don't don't know why it did that, but we've been building this area. This is gonna be for clouded leopards, and I'm going a little bit wild with the um, the level of detail here. It's it's been quite a lot, uh, and I'm pretty happy with how it's turning out. But we're building kind of this observatory place for them. So they'll be able to cross through this area here, actually, and have a little area in here that they can go into and hang out in and cross back out this side. And then on either side, we've got observatories for the guests since they're hanging out around here. And we're going to have some kind of area here. I'm not 100% sure which. Uh, what kind of thing we're going to do. I think we might... I'm trying to decide what I want to do over here. I think, because I think this area I'm going to make shops and things. Um, I think I want to add some shops here. Now, we can't really afford too many of them right now, I don't think. So maybe we shouldn't do that just yet. But So probably the priority here... Well, maybe not even. Because we might want to... We might want to unpause for a little... Maybe, we, maybe we'll take a break from building and maybe we will um, just hang out around the zoo for a little bit. Because we've got a lot going on with this area. And we don't have a lot of finances at the moment, so I think we'll pause and just hang out for a little bit. 670 in the end! Oh my goodness! 670 Pokemon out of 807. That is insane! Excellent job! I missed the very end because I had to come over here to set up, but oh my goodness, wow! That is a lot. Um, oh, I'm glad you guys like the Clouded Leopard exhibit. Uh, we, are, we are definitely working on it. We're going to be... I want to re-figure out, I'm probably, huh, hmm, I'm, I'm second-guessing myself now. I might, honestly, I'm considering relocating the otters, too, because I kind of don't like how this went in here. We might move them to a different exhibit and make it a little bit better. We'll have to see, we'll have to see. Um, but I feel like this little area, I'm not super vibing with this little, well, it might work out. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, we'll see what we end up doing with it. Uh, and I don't want to, because we can't encroach too far into the Africa area either, and I do like this area. We'll, we'll see. I'm not going to fidget with that too much right now. Uh-oh. Hopefully you can get your stream unfrozen. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Alright. I think... I think if we just hang out for a bit, we should look to... 
random balloon flying away. <laughs> we've got an inspector coming eventually. Yeah, we should wave to the people here. I think we've had the same people hanging out in the zoo for a while now, I think. I think. Um, all right, vet research complete. That's fine. You can go ahead and do that. Bench wrong. Um, did our bench wrongs, are they gonna ha do we end up having bench wrongs that are gonna have babies? I think that was a, a possibility. I'm not 100% sure how that worked out. Was it you? No, that is our male. Uh, that is our female. Why are your social low? Did it do the thing again? Did it do the thing again? Is it gonna do this every time we load? I move this. Oops, that's not quite what I want to do. If I do that, that forces it to recalculate. Oh no. I hope, uh, I hope that uh, your internet will fix itself because that's not fun. Alright, I, I think that apparently whatever I did, I think fixed stress. It seemed like it. And I don't think the Bintrongs are going to have babies. It doesn't look like it. Um, but I think that was an option. I'm trying to remember everything that happened. It has been a little bit. Um, and hopefully we'll be back. There's a small chance that this Thursday, if you're watching live on Twitch, if you're on YouTube, this probably doesn't apply. Um, but there's a small chance that we may not, uh, be streaming on Thursday. I think we should be able to, but it depends on when a thing happens, and I don't know for sure when that thing happens. And I'm hoping it will not pick Thursday at the exact time that I'm streaming to happen. Oh, the snakes are gonna have babies, I guess. But there's a small chance that it will. And if it does, I may have to postpone the stream. So again, you can always check my schedule and I'll put myself in vacation mode if I'm not going to be streaming. Uh, but I want to look at Shanita here. Now, let's see. Social health is not great. And I think if we look at our exhibit trading, we probably have better options. We've got... We do not have better options. What, what are the options then for if we look at our snakes? If we look at Kiana and Zane here, what were the possibilities? Um... She, oh, she, she, I thought she was already going to have babies again. And I was like, oh my goodness. Um, I think we can have much, a much better option than, um, than Shanita though. So I think we're going to go ahead and we will probably sell Shanita. Um, huh. I, I'm tempted. I mean, we already have, but we don't know if we'll get a male for sure. That was kind of tempting though to it just buy that uh, buy that one but we'll go ahead and we'll sell Shanita I think um, yeah internet issues definitely can be annoying my internet was going out on me when was it it was just going out on me on random the other day it just w would decide mm, nope don't want that um, yeah I do I do love the rain in the game it is very pretty um, oh no I'm sorry for your headache I'll definitely be praying as well that's not fun um, hopefully you feel better soon, and feel free to lurk <laughs> if you don't want to be in chat for whatever reason. That's totally valid as well. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, just rest up and take care of yourself. All right, how do things go? Research, research going pretty well, um, and our finances are going up, so that's good. And then I think, how are things going here? Did we? All right, these guys can't have babies anymore. Why is the feeder capacity down? I don't understand that. Um, but I think these guys are getting pretty old, and so I think the idea was to just keep them here even now that they are retired and let them uh, finish off their lives here and before we introduce the new generation. We'll let these guys, um, let these guys hang out, but they are getting older, so I don't know how much longer they'll be around for, um... Oh, what? <laughs> I don't know why why Twitch be doing that. Um, oh, yeah, we gotta turn the rewards on. Um, thank you for doing that, Rain. Yeah, there's there's always... It's always weird to switch series like that. We have... This is Baby Cheetah, huh? This is Baby Cheetah. <laughs> House and Honey, who we're gonna be trading, probably. But, uh, running around here. Whoa, my goodness, we zoomed way in by accident. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's always... You know, it's always weird to come into stream, too, and to have to, like prepare for streamer mode. Like, I have to actually think about things to a degree. I have to actually be able to focus for a little bit. And, and sometimes I don't, like, I mean, rocks go burr. <laughs> uh, I do not always focus, but I have to, to focus at least a little bit. Um, but, oh, chronic migraines are not fun, that's for sure. Yeah, I get migraines on occasion, and yeah, I, I don't enjoy them. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 
Um, oh yeah, we have to add lions to the zoo at some point here too. Uh, we do have them. We could add, oh, and I think, actually, I'm going to pause this momentarily because I think, if I'm not mistaken, like, I'm going to put my um, screen up momentarily, but I think we actually have, um, I think I actually have a new sign to add, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and I think we'll put one in, I think, I have to look this up, I didn't have my, um, didn't have my signs up here. Let's see. Ah, yes. Um, Alright, so we have, we actually have several here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, we'll put some of them in. Uh, and we'll go ahead and put some, some of these signs in here. Uh, because we have some new patrons who are, um, who are, who have, uh, who are going to be getting signs here. So let's see if we can come in here. If we go in this way, it is very dark. Maybe we wait until morning to do this. I'm stuck underground. <laughs> Occasionally I just clip through the floor and get stuck there. Let's wait till let's wait till it's a little bit less dark and then we'll go ahead and do that uh, when I can see what I'm doing. But we'll add some of those signs in today and make sure that we do that. Um, and thank you to everyone who has joined the Patreon as well for supporting the channel. Um, I much appreciate the support. And uh, it does help me out a lot, so thank you guys for that. We'll go ahead and get your signs in shortly. Uh, we actually have more of them than I thought. We've had a few new patrons lately. Um, and there should be a command to check that out, I think, if you guys are interested in joining the patron and you haven't seen it yet. Uh, there is some fun stuff you can do there. You'll have the chance to have input to certain series, uh, including our Wolf Quest series, and of course rewards like having a uh, sign for you in the zoo here and such not. Uh, those are all things that uh, come with being a patron, and if you are a sub, you also get potentially the sign, um, the donor sign, and I, th I think it's just, I think it's the donor sign for subs, but you can get in contact with uh, Rain or I over Whisper and I'll take a look at that for you if you are a sub. Um, I believe it's tier 2 subs that get a sign, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I'll have to look back at that, but I think it's tier 2 and up that it gets a donor sign. So if you are a tier 2 sub or higher, you can go ahead and let me know and you can get a donor sign in the zoo. Okay, that research is complete. Just waiting for it to be done. <laughs> uh, the Binturongs are already researched. Uh, we've actually got quite a lot. We should, um, we should research the spiders too, because do we add the spiders to the zoo? Or do we still have them in the, um... Okay, uh, do we actually add them? I think we did. Yeah, big spiders. Big spiders here. Um, and they're doing pretty well, I think. Doesn't look like they're having any, um, any babies at the moment, though. And we should close this window. This one? Yes. Can do that. Have that poke through a little bit. I guess the wall is kind of in the way, too. But that's alright. And we can't- in the layout is not great, but we need to re do more research, which we're working on here. Alright, so let's see. Nah, no, you're, you're good, you're good, don't worry. <laughs> uh, you're all good. Um, yeah, there, there are wolves. There are wolves. There's several kinds of wolves. There's at least timber wolves and arctic wolves. There might, Are there more than that even? I, I don't know, but there's at least timber wolves and arctic wolves. Uh, and we will be we will be getting wolves at some point, I am sure. <laughs> a lot of people want to see wolves. We just started kind of with a more tropical area towards the front of the zoo. And so we're moving into Asia jungles over here. And um, at some point, probably if as we get further back in the zoo, we will add other animals from other areas. Oh, then the cheetah's about to grow up, so we should probably keep an eye on that. Make sure that when he does, we are going to be trading him out. Uh, look at him, though. He's so darn cute. Oh, my goodness. Look at this baby. Oh, look at this. This is so cute. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I love cheetahs. Cheetahs are great. Cheetahs are hecking great. Oh, listen to them. Is it snowing? I think it might be snowing, actually. I think it's actually snowing, Owl. I think our areas are probably pretty well set up. I mean, the new um, the new exhibit isn't yet, but uh, they should be all right. I think that look, look at those feet. Look at those huge paws. Like, they're just absolutely massive paws on these cheetahs. Oh, they're, they're just, they're so good. They're so good. And the parents are hanging out. Oh, I love them. Are people actually using the internal area here? People are not really, not really coming to look at them from here. Are there? Are, are they okay? 
Are they stuck? Hello? Uh, uh, ha, 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 hang on. Um. How? Huh? 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 Oh. Why is the path gone? When, when did the path go away? Um. Uh, when did this happen? Um. You, you know, uh, I, that's, hmm. That's really not, not ideal, to be perfectly honest. Um, oh, I don't know, because we need to... Go there, and then go up. No, I don't want you to rotate, though. No, please, let me see what's happening. Please, for the love of all that's good, let me see what's happening. There's apparently people stuck down there. I'm glad I looked in here. I did not expect that this would be, um, a heckin' thing. Uh, hold on. Alright, is this- I cannot see a gosh dang thing. Oh my goodness, no, please. Please, please cease my suffering. Alright. There. And then here, if I- I go, oh my goodness, oh no, no. All right, let's go here, and then if I do that, we can undo that, but that should keep it. Oh my goodness, what? No, oh gosh. I hope this is not gonna be a, a very, mm, we're gonna heck and fight the paths again. Um, well, okay, that worked. Um. Huh. Well, okay, um... We should uh, probably move these guys somewhere where they're not stuck, but they shouldn't be anymore, but, um, let's- let's move them outside so that they can more quickly attend to their needs. Um, hmm. Yet- yet that was a thing. Uh, time to fight the pads indeed! Oh my goodness. Um... I guess that would explain why nobody's coming down here. Um, oh goodness. I can't... Uh, there are, you know what, we'll just let them all walk out. Can you guys escape? Can you guys escape? Hello? Free? Free? Free. Alright. Well, that's a thing. Alright, it's, um, it's getting a little bit more visible, so let's go ahead and put some signs in. Okay, the cheetahs have matured. Um... Let's put here, so we, we'll go ahead and we'll put a few more of these signs in. I'm gonna duplicate this one. Is that one... Well, we put, we put, oh, hold on. We put this. Let's do this. Oh, um... Hmm. Let's, let's, let's duplicate this first, then, I guess. Um, we can do this here. Put one here. Put another one. We can put we can put a few signs on each exhibit, depending, because we have um, someone who wants to be on any canine animal. So we'll go ahead and put you on the African wild dogs here. Um, hello, there we go. And oh my goodness, no, no. I'm gonna now fight this thing. That goes the wrong way. This will go right. There we go. Now I think. We want this up a little bit. Here we go. And we can go ahead and we will put in uh, your name as well here. Also, I apologize for not keeping up too well with chat. I'm looking at names on my um, my monitor here. So we've got these. And then let's put let's let's do something fun. Let's put a couple in the bench wrong exhibit too, because we have a couple people who wanted their names in, uh, or who didn't have a preference where to put their names. So we'll go ahead and we'll put a couple of them in the bench wrong exhibit as well. <laughs> they were doing it The Sims 3. Um, yeah, and you can't even see the pads. Hard, hard mode, extra hard mode. Um, make things extra heckin' difficult. <laughs> um, oh, Q and E go up and down easily. Oh yeah, that's good to know. Thank you for that. Um, I'm glad we got it fixed. Thank you, thank you guys. Uh, I'm very glad that we got that fixed. Um, 
can go ahead, we'll go to construction, I think. We want signs. Uh, this is one of the things. Let's put some of these outside here. We'll put one here. And then we'll put one here. Put a couple of these sponsor signs here. And where is the one that I had? It was somewhere around here. I do not know where it went, but it's somewhere around here. Oh, I think it's this one. All right. Um, if we do this, and then we just go like this, we can place this here, and then we can do also, um, we have, kind of try to put some of these in, um, and if you don't, if you have a sign, if you send in a sign, make sure you've contacted me about it because I can't put it in until I, I know um, where you guys want it and what you want the sign to say, what, what name you want on it. So if you are supposed to get a sign from something, then uh, let, make sure you tell me <laughs> because uh, otherwise I might not be able to give it to you. So, so we also have Trinket. Uh, we can go ahead and do that. Put Trinket in. And finally, we have someone who we've seen around here recently. Um, I don't think, I don't know if you're in stream right now, um, but let's go ahead and we will duplicate. We'll go up here. Oops, this is right. I'm gonna go up here and then we can go here. I'm gonna line it up just right if we can. Hopefully I'm getting these mostly. We also have Violet. So go ahead and we'll put your signs here and then all of you guys are now in the zoo. Um, but yeah, make sure you've contacted me about that because either we don't have the animals in the zoo yet or you probably haven't told me information. I have a lot of people who haven't given me their info and uh, I do want to add your signs. I just don't necessarily have everything that I can for that. Uh, we don't have bears yet. We'll probably add them at some point though. Uh, the snow is very pretty. Um, Let's see. Oh, oh, did the internet fix that? <laughs> hopefully so. Hopefully so. All right, let's check on the cheetahs, though, because I think somewhere around here uh, we have, okay, Lebna, who we're going to be trading. Are you guys heckin' fighting? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Do we have problems with the Bintrongs? All right, that's Dawn. Are they fighting? Something tells me that this, this does not look, this does not look happy. This, this does not look happy to me. Um, are you guys about to pick a heckin' fight? Please don't do that. We're gonna remove the, um, we're gonna remove, yeah, social group is not great. Okay, we gotta remove the extra cheetahs. Um, are you, you are now an adult. Let's send you to the trade center. Yeah, tech is good at fixing itself right when you give up. Let's go deal with the Binturongs. Where's their snow? Oh my gosh. Okay, we have not set this one up yet at all. Uh, we gotta put in, I guess we just haven't had it yet. Uh, well, there's always something that we never see until it snows. There's always one exhibit that just doesn't have, <laughs> that doesn't have the heater or anything. Oh, it's in, the habitat is where it is. There's always one exhibit that doesn't have a heater in we find out every time it snows that it just doesn't have a heater. And this is the one, apparently. Let's put that here. We can go ahead and we will... Um, the range is far, as far as it can go, I think. Um, there's going to be protesters if we don't deal with this quickly. Um, let's put another one over here. Not right there, preferably. We'll have to figure out where the temperature range is. We'll probably want a smaller one over here. Probably want to turn that down just a little bit. The good news is the finances are coming up now. What temperature does the Bintrongs, what do they want? They would like, where? Tell me, tell me. All right, um, okay, 13 to 42, that, so that temperature is fine. All right, let's see, this will start to warm it up. All right, this will start to warm it up. This one's going, you can see, this one we might want to uh, increase the range on a little bit. Oh, I guess, the problem is I don't want them, oh my goodness, will you guys just chill the heck out? I'm fixing the problem, I'm fixing the problem. All right, oh goodness, that's gonna be too small. We want it a little bit bigger now. All right, oh goodness, I need to, um, Probably pause this. Probably pause this. 
Let's uh, duplicate this. We'll put this right over here. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. And we'll put another one over here, but we'll make its range a little smaller. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Um, oh yeah, trees, trees do like blocking signal, that's for sure. Alright, is this one working? The interrons are going where it's warmer, I think. Alright. Is this good? I might want to move this back just a little bit so that it's not as uh, hot for the guests. It looks like it's getting warmer anyway. Are the Venturongs happier now? Where are they? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? You're here. Social group? Nani? Hello? Oh. They got boxed, that's why. Social group? Okay, stress is going back. Stress is climbing. There, they'll be fine, they'll be fine. The protesters, do they always go to the back? They, they often go to the back, it feels like. Um, Alright. I think we'll be alright, though. I think we'll be alright. Let's check our animal trading as well. We can pause for a minute here, because we should have Lebna and Hasanati. Let's go ahead and we'll do that. What is the market like for cheetahs right now? Well, let's take a heck and look. Cheetahs. I think we have to toggle back, is what you guys have said in the past, at least. Oh my goodness, some of them are expensive. Oh, there's a there's a white cheetah here. Do we have a white cheetah already? Or a spotless cheetah? Um, we might... Oh, we do, yeah, Sada, Sada. We have Sada. So we have Sada and uh, Hondo, who's probably what, who we're going to keep. So how are... All right, they, they, they're, they're probably all right. So if we... Oh my goodness. So I guess we've got some pretty good cheetahs because they could go for a lot of conservation credits. Um, I guess we'll try that. I usually kind of round it out. So let's do 650. And we can trade Hasanati too. I guess we'll go for 700 and we'll see if they uh, have any takers. Um, these guys are both up for trade now. All right. Oh, thank you for subscribing, Sunny. Thank you very much. I much appreciate it. You should have some nice uh, sub emotes now. I think you have three of them. Um, oh my goodness. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we've got a Nyala about to mature as well. We should also do some names, maybe, when we, if we have new animals here. Um, let's see, did you grow up? Oh, it just hasn't rendered yet, I don't think. Yay! All right, let's see. Oh, baby's not gonna be baby for much longer, but baby is very cute. <laughs> very heckin' cute. All right, oh, there we go. Uh, you are now, you are now an adult, and I think we need to be careful because I think you're gonna fight. Um, have you, is your, your welfare is fine. Protesters go away. The welfare is fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> the baby Nayalas are very cute. All right. How did, do we want to keep the baby? We might. All right. So we're going to put you in the trading center, but we will not, um, we will not sell. All right, let's see. There we go. That should be fine. That should keep them from being fighting. We should be all right. We got our wild dogs doing okay too. There we go. The welfare is clearing up. All right. Um, the puff adders have had offspring. Let's take a look. There's always something to do in this zoo. It's never a dull moment. That's why we keep it on pause when we're not um, when we're not uh, not running. Okay. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of them. All right. What are we looking at for these guys? Uh, we're looking at, I think, we're looking at pretty, um, pretty high. So I think the 70-ish range is probably about what we're looking for. So if their genes aren't in the 70-ish range, that's probably, actually, that's pretty good. Um, this might be a keep uh, for Galib here. Well, let's go ahead, we'll move you to the trading center, but that's definitely not bad. Uh, if we look at Riaz, they're all males, I think. Okay, you can definitely get traded. And if we look at Ziad here, um, you are also pretty good. I think we'll keep... I mean, I don't think it matters, honestly. But if we look at the exhibit trading, oh dear, we gotta look at some guest needs, too. 
I hope that's not just the ones that got randomly trapped. So I think these guys are identical, 75 and 83, 75 and 83. So I think, yeah, they're pretty identical. So let's, um, let's go ahead. Can we trade? We can, oh, we can quick trade. All right, you can't, it looks like you can't trade these guys, but let's trade, um, let's quick trade both of these. We'll go ahead and do that. And we'll go ahead and quick trade out Riaz here. And what's happening here? Vet research. All right, let's see what's going on with the guests, though, and figure that out as well. Uh, education is low. Thirst is low, and happiness is low. All right. Um, guest needs happiness. Protesters can leave. I think. Um, what is happening? Why is there happiness? Is that just that's just their overall? All right, thirst. It's kind of just, there's, like, is there one concentrated area where they're just not great? I don't know. It feels like there's just random low needs scattered throughout, I guess. Maybe. Kind of. Alright, I'm trying to figure out how to decipher this. Toilet need is good, at least. Hunger is not bad. Uh, energy is not bad. Education could stand to be better all the way around. Education. There's a lot of education that's not great here, but there should be, there are, is education signs. Oh my goodness, all right, um, construction, nope, uh, facilities, media devices and speakers, but there's even speakers here to educate you unwillingly. I don't understand, I don't understand. Um, I'll see you later, Ubu Furry. Thank you for joining us. I hope your internet clears up. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you for that, Oselli. <laughs> oh, you're, you always catch the animals when I put them up for sale. Um, now we have many conservation credits. My goodness. All right. Um, maybe what we do... Well... Huh. I'm trying to decide what we want to do with this. Hmm. And like what we want to do with this area too. We're, we gotta make, we're at the point where we have to make some decisions I think the issue is. And I don't know what I want to do with the otters and I don't know what I want to do with the clotted leopards. I think this area would be good to, if we do, um, let's see, if we did, well we could put... We can put some shops down here is the thing. We can also put another exhibit on the back of it and have maybe a larger exhibit. And this would be a good place to see things as well from up here. We just need to know, because the otter exhibit, the otters are already kind of low on space is the trouble. So we'd have to relocate the otters first, I think. And that might be difficult to do. Hmm. So just out of curiosity, just because I want to see if it can be done, um, I'm going to noodle a little bit here. I want to want to try something. Let's see. If we do this. This is just testing. This is just testing. And if we do this, oops, probably did not go about this in a very um, good way. Is this set up? If I do that, and then we go to train, and then we go to water, and we do calm water, no. All right, we can't just have that. Um, <laughs> well, thank, thank you, thank you. I'm just trying to figure out if you can fill it with water. Where do we want to put the otters, I think? I'm Because I'm trying to decide, okay, what is the, thematically, like, where, where are the otters from? Let's look at them in the Zoopedia. They are South America tropical. This is moving into Africa, um, this is Africa grasslands, I think. Let's see. Africa, or Africa, yeah, grassland and desert. Let's see. Where are we headed here? 
and Africa tropical Africa grasslands and what are you the Caymans oh I hope you're not gonna get in trouble for lack of food South America grassland temperate tropical okay lots of so this is South America blending into Africa so you are South America um, South America I guess oh I guess grassland and tropical hmm if we revise this area, the thing is, that's a lot of revision to make. Because it's going to bleed into the African Wild Dog exhibit as well. Which is a pretty significant area. I think it's something we might want to do, though. Because I don't think this area... How much room do the Clouded Leopards need? And I think there are, um... If we look at Clouded Leopards... Let's see. Where, where, where? Oh my goodness, where are they? Uh, I'm, I'm scrolling right past them, I know. There we go. Temperate and tropical. So what do we have? Can I search? No. Temperate and tropical. What? I want to filter. I want, I want the ability to filter by biome and stuff. That's something that I want to be able to do. I don't know if I can do that or not. Um, let's see. What other new animals are there? We could have- we already have the big trongs. Uh, doles, actually. Doles are Asia tropical and grassland. Okay. That- well, because we've got Asia, then we've got... Okay, what is- because we've got weird- this weird- the problem is we have a weird patch of South America. <laughs> uh, because these guys are, um... Let's see. These guys are South America. And these guys, I believe, are also South America. Let's see. Yes. And these guys, I think, the Garials. Um you can do it on the wiki, but not in game. That's unfortunate. That was something I did like about like Zoo Tycoon and stuff that let you do that. Tropical and temperate Asia. So we've got the problem is we've got this weird patch right here. Um, that's South America, <laughs> and it's just two animals, and that's all it is. And then otherwise we'd have a smooth transition from Asia to Africa. I think we might need to move the South American sector. Honestly, I'm thinking that might be the play here. We've had this area here the way it is for ages. Um, like, right from the very start of the game. But that was also kind of the layout of setting up the zoo for the first time. So I think it might be beneficial to do a major revision. Um... Oh, that is interesting that the wolves came every season in Shelter 2. So what do you what do you guys think? Because it's these three exhibits that are kind of the problem. And I'm almost thinking, like, the Garials we might want to move as well, because they just kind of have this really small, really weird little area here. Um, the Otters and the Caimans are just two, two kind of randomly placed exhibits in the middle of an area that would otherwise transition smoothly. If we get rid of this weirdness, we could have, um, we could have doles and we could have African wild dogs and we could have a cool kind of transition from there. And we've got two kind of canine animals that are from, um, the doles are Asia, grassland, tropical, and the African wild dogs, I say as I scroll the wrong direction here, um, where are they? African wild dogs here are Africa grassland desert. So if we had the wild dogs here, could kind of change this. Doles here, uh, clouded leopards here. And we kind of change up the beginning here. What do you guys think about clearing a lot of these exhibits out? We'll move the animals, we will put them back into the zoo, but we'll put their exhibits elsewhere. What do you guys kind of think about that idea? 
uh, of the otters and the caimans and the gharials. Because I feel like the gharials have a very cramped kind of space here, too. And uh, they're, they're cool exhibits, they're just tiny. And I'm not sure it really super fits the way the zoo flows, if I'm being perfectly honest. What do you what do you guys kind of think about that? I will give you guys a little bit of little bit of time to comment on that and consider. I think I don't think moving this whole area would be good. I'm just I'm trying to picture. I almost hmm. I don't know if it would be. I, w I like having the, the idea of the clouded leopards being able to cross it. But maybe actually... Maybe we'd want... Hmm. I'm considering me... Well... I'm thinking about things. I'm thinking about things. Um, I'm, I'm glad they look good. I'm just not sure it flows well geographically. Um, let's see... Making happy accidents, not mistakes. I guess I'm just kind of... I'm a little unsure about this construction and how much of a wall we have here. Because this is a very weird, cramped kind of area now. Um, I don't know. We also should see how this flows into this area, too, perhaps. But we can, we can keep it, I suppose. We can keep it. It's just kind of a, an interesting thing to work around. I'm going to maybe try... You know what might actually work better? You know what might actually work better than completely taking it out? Instead of having guests route through here, we, have, we just have this route up here instead. Actually, I think that would work. We'd have to do a little renovation on the side of the otter exhibit here. But I think that will give them more room and not less, and I think overall that would flow a little bit better, perhaps. Um, and then we can keep the exhibits here. It should still work, I think. Maybe we could put doles on the other side or something like that. That might be a better course of action. So I think what we can do... I think I'm still going to temporarily move the otters... Um, and not change it too much, but I think it would help to take away this path here and to connect the otter exhibit differently to this area as we renovate that. Um, and then we don't have to take everything out. Does that sound like a better plan of action, do you guys think? Because uh, we don't take everything out, but we can still kind of expand the otter exhibit a little bit, tidy it up a little bit, and it'll overall be a little bit of a neater transition, perhaps, and not have this weird path that then leads to a weird cliff here. <laughs> um, what do you guys think of that idea? And then make this kind of kind of have the border of the otter exhibit run through here. Um, and we can put up a wall there. How does that sound to y'all? get some water. You kind of like the weird cliff? I'm I'm just trying to figure out because it feels like there's not that much space here. Is I guess I guess I guess maybe it's not bad. I mean, I want to probably cover it in rocks and stuff. Um hmm. Let's see. Little ravine between the cliff and the building. Possibly. Possibly. I have to bring it up here. Okay, you guys kind of like it. Alright, maybe, maybe it'll work. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out, because I think... I want this to go into this building where we do need to redo this building so that it matches up with this one. Um, so that is going to get revised and that will make the connection here be revised. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's true. The cliff, the cliff may look cool. Um, let's see. I might, I still, I think I may, might move the 
walkway here. I might get rid of that. I don't want it to make it so that the otters can't be seen, though. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I think maybe the first thing we do is try to redesign this area here. Um, I think we see here what we can do. We'll bring this up. I don't want it to go sideways, though. Stop going sideways. Please stop going sideways. Goodness, why are you like this? Let's try here. Yeah, I'm gonna try to see... Oh, we might need it to even be before that, actually. Um... We do this. That's still pretty low. I think we probably need to bring this back a ways. And have this. And I will adjust the look of this. And that might be too far back, actually. Um, is this, this would work, I think, would, that'll work, I think. Alright, I'm gonna clear out some of this area. Oops. I think, let's clear this. This is just one absolutely massive group, too. Uh, this is not quite what I, oops, quite what I anticipated that being. So what we'll do then, clear out some of this, get rid of some of that, and then I think as we start to do this, this this will help clarify some things, I think, and try to figure it out as we're trying to figure this out. There we go. Oh boy. Um, maybe it will. Maybe it will. Maybe I lied. No, I do not. I want you to... Why does it always mess up the grid when I do this? I don't know why it just heckin' does things. Alright, here we go. Alright. Because we've got this. Let me come over here. Let's see. Alright, um... Uh... Hmm. I think... Yeah, we wait on that, I think. Alright, this we do need to change. Let's see. We could maybe add a waterfall. Oh, I wonder. Hmm. Is there like... Is there like a... Hmm. I'm looking for like a kind of a, a fence bars or something. Or like a grate of some kind. Because like we could almost have... We could almost have some sort of something running from the otter exhibit into the, um... Because we have water in the otter exhibit here. We could almost flow that into the clouded leopard exhibit, I'm almost thinking. Possibly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it, I am starting, starting to have some ideas here. Okay, oh boy. Um... In the most terrifying way possible, I think we might need to remove this building. I think we actually may need to do that. Let's move everybody out. Do I need to move all the guests out? We might. I clear this out. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna take the. Um, oh, we can't move. All right. I'm gonna move these buildings. Oh my goodness. Um. You know what? I'm just gonna heck and delete the thing. Um. And redo it. We are gonna have to put in the hex staircase. No, we actually won't have to put in the hex staircase. That's one good thing about this. Well, we may still have to put in the hex staircase so they don't come all the way. But, eh, maybe we won't. Um. But I need to get in there and edit things. So, we'll keep the same core concept of this. So, I'm gonna remove this building, though, because I need to redo how most of it is done. Yeah, no, I think we might be able to get rid of- oh my gosh. Look at the hex staircase. Look at this hex staircase. That's just- mm. Oh gosh, and we've got the path that runs under here too. Very, very cursed. You know what's even more cursed? This tunnel. Into who knows what. Where does the tunnel lead? We might never know. It goes down here. It runs underneath. It runs down this way. 
It is a very cursed staircase. We're, we are going to get rid of the hex staircase, I think. Um, the only thing... So, okay, we now got to get rid of all these paths. We're going to have to make temp paths is the thing. Well, or semi-temp paths. Although I'm probably going to... I think I will remodel the otter exhibit, but we'll keep it in mostly the same place as it's been. We'll just adapt it to better work with the, um, the new paths. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This the staircase shouldn't exist. I hope. Oh, this poor man is gonna fall. All right. I hope that works out for you. the The thing is, now we can have them access it from the other area here, which I think will be good. We'll still probably have there be a staff center underneath. It just won't have to be such a cursed way of accessing it. All right. We are gonna have to stay on pause until we finish whatever the heck this is, though. Alright, I hope we can, um, yeah, rip to the man he's floating. Um, delete all of this. Alright, oh my goodness, can I move these people? I want to get them off of this because I'm going to feel very bad if I just throw my guests in the void. Um, this is not what I'd like to do. Alright, some of these. Nope, we're just going to have to deal with void guests for a minute here. Uh, I do want to go paths. I do not want to connect to this. Is this... This is an acceptable level to put the staircase on. Alright. Um, yeah, people are sitting in there. This is just gonna get heckin' messy and we'll just have to make sure nobody gets, um, yeeted off into nowhere. And we probably won't get to finish this tonight because we don't have that long left, actually. Um, let's go here. So line to grid. Now what I need to do is go here. We need to remake this. Now I think... Got this. This should be roughly the same size, I think. Right? I think it is about. I think it, I think it was a 5 before. And I think that works. And I think I'm going to actually change the pathing here. Um, we've got a lot of interesting options. What is this? Water path. Oh, that'd be cool if we have an area that um, needs, like, water. But I think I want to do Rustic Path at the top of the stairs. Ah, they do be floating. Because this looks a little bit more solid. And I think that'll be functional. Now, what we have to do down here is, um... <laughs> yeah, floating people with balloons can't, don't exist. They can't hurt you. They're here. Look at the look at these folks who didn't even stand up from their sitting. Oh my gosh, like I'm not gonna lie, these people are a little bit scared. <laughs> these people I've just I'm taking a look at them up close for now and I have to I have to say I I, I don't know. I think it's something about the eyes just just mm, it's just a tiny bit scary to me. Just a little bit. I, I, hmm. I, I wish they had not dot eyes. Like the people themselves, they're very good, but I just, I, that, I just noticed that, and that, something about that doesn't quite sit right with me. <laughs> something about that is just a little bit uncanny, in my opinion. Um, I, 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 overall, I love them, but like, ooh, that, oh my god. <laughs> that, that, uh, silly, that message caused my entire chat to refresh, and it just, I, it, a silly sent a message that said join us in the scary font, and, and, and it, it apparently refreshed my chat, and so the entire chat just disappeared for a moment, <laughs> and I was like, oh no, <laughs> the people have done something, uh, that the people should not have, oh my goodness, uh, let's see, Let's, let's, just, okay, because what I've got to do here, we got to flatten this. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, it, it did that. It really did do that. Um, I'm going to flatten this out. We'll probably have to remodel a little bit of the African wild dog exhibit too, but I hope not too much. No. Stop this. Cease, cease and desist. Cease and desist. Why? Why though? Um, let's see. Um, yeah, and like, I don't want to bag on the style, like, the style is good, I just, the humans towed the line 
a little bit into the uncanny valley, I feel like. Which is a little bit unnerving. Just a slight bit. Just a slight bit. Um, Alright, we'll fix some of this. I hope this isn't going to lead to African Wild Dogs escaping. We just need to... Oh my goodness, this is all, like, floating. I've made a big mess is what I've done. Um, we'll have to keep the zoo on pause for a little bit. <laughs> um, oh gosh. Uh, we were talking about the, the, the join us. <laughs> the, the, uh, oh, and that, oh, and as for Cursed, um, I, I, I just got an up-close look at some of the people in this game, and, like, overall they're not, they're not terrible, but, like, when you, when you get up close to them, there's, there's something about their eyes that I just have realized. I, mm, I, I'm not, I, I think it's the... I think it's the difference in the level of detail between, like, they have, like, noses, and they have lips, and they have teeth, and then their eyes are just dots. I, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, wait, there's a heckin' multi-select tool? <laughs> I didn't know there was a multi-select tool. That would have saved me a lot of problems, probably. Um... Alright, uh, where is... You know, I can measure this. I can measure this. I can figure it out. Maybe... Well, no, I think they're all like that. I think they're all like that. This is the problem. Um, and like, you know, I don't want to bag on the art style. It just is freaking me out a little bit. Um, it, it just is a slight bit. Alright, here's this. Let's see. Very bottom right. Click on it. And very bottom right... Oh, you know that would be helpful. Uh, thank you for that. <laughs> that that would indeed be um that would indeed be helpful. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, let's do this. All right. Let's see here. I I have learned things. I may not remember these things, but now if you remind me that there's a multi-select tool, I probably will know where to find it. Um, alright. So what we gotta do now is we gotta path on the bottom here. Align to grid. We can do this. Alright, now down here we can do the actual area. Which I think... Let's see. Um, yeah, I haven't seen Violet this stream yet. Um, I think she... Well, I mean, we didn't stream Wolf Quest last week. Uh, because I was busy. We didn't stream Planet Zoo last week either, actually. It's been a couple weeks. So, let's see here. Alright. Here's this. Okay. We got that. We are starting to have this. Now, I think this is where I'm gonna put, because we'll kind of blend this into the terrain, I think. So, we gotta put in some staff centers and stuff over here. We've got a, a fair amount of money right now. Um, and I hope we don't have to pause and earn more because that's going to be a little inconvenient. Let's do a large staff room down here. And we could... Hello? Can you go right here, please? We can put that there. This can be a part of it. But I think part of what we'll do is we'll kind of, like, some of this will be blended into the cliffs is kind of what I'm thinking. And, um, yeah, we do have more money from demolishing the building. Uh, yes. Um, but I think what we'll do is we'll kind of start to, like, we'll integrate it into the cliffs. So it won't just be this weird little protruding, um... It won't just be this weird little protruding thing here. It'll actually be like a part of the cliff, kind of, is what I'm, sort of what I'm thinking. Rock time soon, but probably not this episode, because we are kind of coming out on the end of um, the time that we have here. All right, what do we have? We've got vertical plank roof. No, stop that. We'll do... Why, why are you fighting me like this? Stop it. Why is it always on zero meters? I don't want the grid on zero meters. Why are you never on the size that I want you to be? Heckin' why? 
<laughs> now I'm not fighting the pads. Now I'm fighting this heckin' thing. All right, here we go. There we are. That's a little bit better. There we go. Nyeh. There. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're, we'll figure it out. All right. Hello? Hello? Why? Why you heckin' like this? All right. There we go. All right, we've got that. We've got that in place. Um, yeah, it could be. It could be a bug. It could be a bug. I don't know why it does that. It doesn't seem like it should. It really doesn't seem like it should. Um, all right, so we've got this here. We've got. Let's see. <laughs> Every day, I take place in the Denny's parking lot for a fist fight while we'll trying to make a parking lot. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's how it feels. That do be how it feels, though. All right. Um, we can do this. Can do this. No. Why though? Why are you so hecking cursed? All right. Um. You know what else is cursed? Very um. Inset recessed windows. This is also cursed. Look at, look at this. I'm not gonna fix it. It's gonna stay like this. This is what we have to live with now. Uh, it has a little lip. It's fun. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Alright. There we go. Alright, there we are. That should be good. Oh yeah, we can use these things too to make the steps a little bit smaller. Um. We can do this. Although I think... Actually, no, that works. That works. Um, we can do... Let's see. Aww, welcome back. Welcome back. I'm sure your cat appreciated that. Let's go here, here, here. Alright. Now, we've got that. None of this should be too close to where the people are. So what else do we need down here? We probably need a keeper hut as well. Um, we can put that back here. Uh, or even, well, I think this way would probably be better. There we are. And we'll kind of blend some of these into the, um, the wall. Well, the thing is, I don't know if we're going to have a wall on this side, actually. So let's not put it there, maybe. Let's put it over on this side instead, because there is going to be a wall here. Um, we'll put that there for now. We won't facade it just yet. Um... Yep, yep, yep. The man's do be hovering. The man's do be hovering. T-posing intimidatingly in the sky. Not quite T-posing, but uh, they do be vibing up there, that's for sure. Alright, let's fix this top thing a little bit. Um, I think what we want is we want to go here. We will do this. Like this this up the edge and then we've got a uh, oops honey oh oh I didn't put these on this side is what I didn't do All right, there we are let's get rid of this get rid of this we'll put some of it back later don't worry we will have safety uh, safety rails we will be OSHA compliant I don't actually even heck and know <laughs> what OSHA compliance would be in this uh, this case here um, I think if we do... Is this right? No, wait, what we want first is... Where's the thing thing? It's this, ain't it? Let's turn it around, though. There we go. Um... We'll see. Is there, like, a... Is there like um where is it? This. Yes, there is indeed. Hello? Here. Hmm. I think we need a taller one. If we do this. It's gonna be a slight bit janky, but it shouldn't be too bad. There we go. Alright. Alright. We good. 
did we five in? Um, and I've done the whole thing wrong, haven't I? Ah, uh, well, no, no, I have not. No, I have not, because what I can do is we can do this. And then that should still, it'll be a little harder to see, but I don't think it'll be that bad. I think it'll be mostly all right. Now what we do is this. We go all the way up here like this. And then we put our weird little thing like this. If I can find where it goes whenever it disappears like that. There! Now we've got it, now we've got it. <laughs> yeah, probably not OSHA compliant. Pro probably not an OSHA compliant zoo. Um, especially not with the uh, floating guests. I, I can't imagine that's within uh, proper OSHA regulations. I there's probably got to be something about um, not letting your guests hover. If not OSHA, what are you doing? What, when, when are we going to get guidelines that adequately protect our safety? <laughs> uh, you, you can't just allow hovering like that. Um, all right, oops, I am not looking at this right. All right, here we go. There we go. All right, oops, goodness. That would be a funny challenge to build like an actually OSHA compliant zoo in this game. <laughs> it might be more of a challenge than we'd expect, perhaps. Um, we go here. Think like this. Seems about right. All right, there we go. Then we can do this. go. There we go. And then we just need one more here. Um, yeah, it must be pretty. Must be pretty indeed. But there we go. We've got it. I think that, that looks pretty good. I feel pretty good about how that looks. Um, I think I like that. Um, this will be covered with rocks, hopefully, so we won't see it too much, I think. Um, and then I think... We should be all right with that. If I go to construction now, let's see. Oh, you know what this is? I know what this is. I know how that happened. All right, what we need now is, um, we need our outer kind of area, I think. So let's go down here. Hopefully it'll be a pretty building when we're done with it. Hopefully it will. Put this here, put this here. And then we've got, oh no, we've got weirdness is what we've got. Right, so now what I can do is I can go all the way up here and this will be our outer part of the zoo or the outer part of the, the build. Now there can be things that go in these walls. All right, let's see there. Wait, actually that's probably not a good spot for them to go. Right, here we go this, we can kind of delete this whole thing, this weird area. Right? Let's see. Oops. We go... Ah, gosh dang you. No, not the stupidity again. Here we go. Oops, goodness. Eh, I think that worked. see. That works. Alright, here we go. There we go. go. All the way up. All the way up. There we go. Now we can have interesting things in the walls, if we so desire to. There we are. That's what I was remembering about the building shape that was off. Okay. Let's see. Oh no! Yeah, uh, dogs do be liking the, to put holes in clothing sometimes. They, they be like that on occasion. Hopefully it is not an important area. Uh, that would be bad to forget. Uh, that would not be so good. Alright, let's see. Let's do this. Alright, now... 
I'm not 100% sure. Hmm. Now, the dilemma here is, where do we put the paths and do we keep them in the same place as we've had them in the past? Like, do we keep the path going around the otter exhibit, or do we somehow do that in a different way? You know what? There's a better way to do this. There's a better way to do that. Nope, stop that. Go on the ground. Be on the ground where you need to be. Cease and desist. I do not trust you. I guess that's right. Wait, stop it. Why are you hecking like this? Alright. The good news is the uh, cursed staircase should be chill now. Um, I'm glad you're liking the building. Um, oh, that, that, I guess that's true. Ripped jeans are a thing. That, that do work out. Alright. Um, so we've got this. Now, hmm. I still want to make sure because we've got our we've got our hole into this exhibit here. Yeah, never trust the walls or paths. In fact, I should save this because knowing me, it will just eat. Um, and it's actually almost about time to wrap up anyway. So let's see. Hmm. I think what I want will do. Let's see. I'm trying to contemplate what I want here. Go this way. I got this. It is at zero meters again. Every dang time. I don't understand. I do not understand why. It could be a bug. Let's do that. Let's do this. And we go up here. I think we might want is possibly this. Oh no, I don't want that weird corner though. Why is the corner weird? Cease that at once. There we go. Why is this all strange? This should not be like this. Here, I can multi-select it now that I know how to heck and do that. That uh, that didn't work. Money. All right. So now can I multi-select? I cannot. Never mind. Multi-select doesn't work in groups. Dang it! I thought I was gonna be so smart and learn a cool new feature, and then oh, I can just do it like this. Okay, it does work. Nice. All right, that works. Can do this. Can do this. We just need it like this. There we go. All right. Now, what we can do is go here. We go to roofs. Not asphalt. <sighs> yeah, I don't know how to report them in this game, unfortunately. Where, though? Um, probably this one. That's probably it. Back in again. Alright, here we go. We might want to actually change out the corners here. But I think this will work. Let's see. Right. Ooh, boy. Is this one that I placed in weirdly? It might be. It's only when I'm not expecting it to switch back to is, like, the, the heckin' thing. It's not when I'm expecting it to be weird. It's when I'm expecting it to not be... O o always and only then that it does strange things to me. This is always how it is. It is an unspoken rule of things. So now, now it's no longer unspoken because I've had spoken it. Um, yeah, yeah, that's another one of those rules. That's uh, just a thing. If you zoom in on the animal doing something cute, suddenly it will do something not so cute anymore. <laughs> oh, goodness. Alright, um, hmm. Because now what we'll do is we'll build up this wall. And 
and just go here, go here. Stop that. Stop that. There we go. Now what we can do is we'll go back to the roof. I'm gonna start getting some of this shape in just a little bit. Mm. Mm. You know what I think it is? Oops. I think it's that, yeah. Those, so those walls are not quite in the right spot. Stop that. Alright, so what we need to do is remove these. And then I'm gonna do something a little bit funky. Um, hang on. I do this. Now when I don't want it here, then, then that's what it does. Alright, let's do this. What we could do... Oh my goodness. There, now it'll do that. Now it'll do that. Now we can put this here. If I can find where it heck it went. There we go. And what we can do on the interior... You're joking, right? Oh my goodness. Alright, we're, we're covering it up. We're not dealing with it. We're not we're not gonna heck and deal with this. Where's the floors? Um, let's just heck in. I can heck and find what I'm trying to do with it. Right? And we'll do that. And now we can't see the weird gap in the walls because it, it's fine, it's fine. I think it's gonna be about time to wrap up stream for today, you guys. I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> All right, uh, we're just gonna wrap up here and I will leave that problem for future Jay <laughs> because it is getting to be about that time and I'm gonna go have dinner. So we will end off with the um, in in interminable wall cracks. I'll, I'll deal with them later next time. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and end off this episode here for today because it is getting to be about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching here on Twitch, don't forget to drop a follow. Or if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to drop a follow on my Twitch as well uh, so that you can see this when we go live next time. And uh, tune in to see me fight walls, paths, and everything else that uh, Planet Zoo has to throw at me. Uh, and uh, not, not know why this, how or why this happens. But yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out some other time. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.